Welcome back you guys to Ultimate Outdoors. So today we are going to talk about my top six spring walleye baits. Um, you know the ice just got off you want something that's like fast but not too fast you know because they're still spawning so um, you can get some pre-spawn some post-spawn walleyes you know you never really know so you want to be prepared for both. So start out with this guy this is a rip and wrap. This is the number five. Uh, this is the blue shad color. Works really good. You can cast them in the mouth of a river. Um, you can crank them back or you can jig them back. So they work really good for walleyes. They got lots of rattles in them. Um, but yeah, rip and wrap is a really good bait. Alright, second bait is the shad wrap cranking this is the deep shad wrap and a perch color uh, they have no rattles in them but they work really good on rocks on sandbars on weeds um, but you crank them really deep you know to get those walleye that are really aggressive on the bottom but that one is the number five so alright the third one one of my favorites is the Shadow Wrap 11 jerk bait. This one's got the three treble hooks on here. It's got lots of beads in it for noise and it works in super shallow water and super deep water. Uh, this one is just in a blue and black is what they call it. Uh, this is slow sinking but I use this one late at night you know in the evenings when they're starting to get more aggressive and get ready for feeding um, but you really want to work this one really aggressively and you should be able to get some really big walleye on that one uh, we're going to take a little break here a little commercial break and then we'll get back to the last three here baits here. So to start off now we got the Rapala Scatter Wrap. This is in the Shad. Uh, this is the number five. This is the deep cranking one. This one works really good just like the Shad Wrap on all kinds of structure on the bottom. You want to set it way out and troll. You can even reel it in too. But this one works really good on rocks. It's got that frayed bill on there to make it you know swerve side to side. Uh, no beads, so but this one is really similar to the shad wrap. Besides, the only difference is the bill and how it's shaped and how it swims. So sometimes they want this one, sometimes they want this one. You never know, so you, you want to be prepared with both. All right, the next one is a simple Northland tackle spinner. Um, you know. I hook a worm or a leech on this and sometimes you gotta go simple you know you got all these rap willows and swim baits and stuff but sometimes they just want something slowly moving even a minnow you could put on here uh, slow moving you know you want it uh, trolled with slowly jigged but sometimes these walleye don't want any of these baits and just this you know maybe they want live bait so this is really simple but it works like a charm you know you can catch I've caught my personal best walleye on this rig right here um, so yeah you know sometimes they don't want them sometimes they want something different and the last bait we have is the 360 GT search bait 
It's a big old 14 inch swim bait, or 14 centimeter, my bad. Um, this is really big bait, but it works really good. Um, it's got the big old paddle tail on it. What you don't need to do is, this is a slow moving bait, okay? You don't want to fish this aggressively. You want to be able to slowly crank that thing back so you're not jigging it, you're not ripping it through weeds. Uh, this works best on sandbars, you know, the mouth of the river, sandbars. Uh, but you're just casting out there and slowly retrieving. Uh, you're not speeding it up, you're not jigging it or anything. Um, but these swim baits work really good and a lot of times they're overlooked, you know. People just see them and think they're just another swim bait, but these ones work really good. So, uh, those are my top six baits, you know. Uh, these walleye are spawning up in the rivers. You can catch post-spawn and pre-spawn with almost all these baits. So, uh, go out there. You can't catch fish sitting on a couch. So, go out there, try all baits. And hey, if you guys have another bait that works really good, make sure to comment below. Um, but that's about it. Yeah, these are my favorite baits to use. And I have lots of other baits, but I tried to narrow them down to six. So, hope you liked the video, and we'll see you guys next week. Thank you.